Last summer I started to dig a well next to the honey room outside the barn. As you can see all my logs are stacked up around it that I've been sanding. Well, harvest season's coming up and I need to get this finished. Um, it's an, almost impossible to clean a honey room without water. So here's a casing I put in last year and dropped about 15 feet of pipe. And that's where it's been since last year. Here you can see approximately how deep the casing is and obviously add another five foot section of pipe. Here I'm pulling the pipe out real quick just to show you how far down I dug it by hand. Uh, just using a little drill I put on the end of a PVC pipe and kept pulling it up. I was just measuring where the water's at. Um, after pounding down another five feet, I think it hits about 17 foot six minus two feet of casing, so water's at about 15 feet where I'm at. So I've pounded one of these walls in by hand before and I will never do that again. Uh, went over to my buddy's, he's got a jackhammer and this has the attachment on it. They're about 60 or 70 pounds and the attachment added. So with this, um, able to hammer it down pretty quick. The problem I got doing the well is I cannot find any more couplings at Menards, they're out, and to order them online, even waiting a week or two, it's going to cost like $15 to $20 of shipping. So I've got these old. These are for using the old uh, way to hammer them down. Um, instead of using that wrecker or pile driver I'm using, I um, happen to have two of them, and I'm going to try cutting the center out so I can use that tool to hammer down at least three more feet of pipe. It's right now, I only got about seven feet, so... We're going to weld them to a plate and then hook up a plasma cutter with some air and try to cut the center out of these, so we'll see how that goes. Well, cutting out the center was a complete failure, so resorted to using hacksaw. 30 minutes later, sweating and cutting, this is what my end result was. I can now use this as a makeshift coupling uh, where I'll mount it on top. It's actually on this frame, but a different one I didn't record. Mount it where that coupling is, and then we'll use this whacker jackhammer tool to hammer down the last few feet. Well, finished tapping in the well. I put in another three foot section here. Water was at 17.6 and the bottom of the well was about 23. So that three foot section gives me about eight or nine feet of water. And that's measurement from the top here. So the water is actually around 15 feet and the draw is gonna be 15 to 25, which will be fine for the pump I got. Here's the jet pump, shallow well tank system. This should be able to draw the water from the 15 to 25 feet. We're going to clean all this out, install a utility sink here, and cut a hole through the wall so we can get through to the pipe outside. So we'll install this next weekend. We did order a 7 kilowatt point of use electric uh, water heater. 
I think it's 1.5 gallons per minute, 77 degree increase. So with groundwater of 55, hopefully in this tank, it'll, it'll warm the water up to about 80. And we should easily be able to get 130 plus degree water, which is plenty warm enough to clean in here. This is what I use to get that casing down. So this is actually for plants, um, garden use on your drill. And I just stuck that into a two inch PVC pipe. So you got a 10 foot section here and then I added another, it looks like three to four foot section. And over the course of several days, was able to dig down almost 14 feet and clear the hole then put the casing in there. And so now I've got nice clear casing up to 14 feet.